On October 1st, all of Norway held its breath, waiting for the scandalous wedding of a 12-year-old girl, Thea, and a 37-year-old man, Gare. A spontaneous rally gathered outside the church building, but the bride at the altar said no. The entire internet was talking about the upcoming wedding for weeks on end, and the 12-year-old bride kept a blog detailing preparations for the future celebration, posting photos of her wedding dress and wedding rings. Thea said her mom and dad were pushing her to take the step. And when she asked what would happen to her on her wedding night, her parents advised her not to think about it. Hundreds of thousands of people around the world discussed the situation online and tried to do everything possible to derail the celebration. To this end, there was even a special website where people voted against the marriage of Thea and Gare. Users begged the bride to say no, and there was a spontaneous rally outside the church building where the marriage was to take place. Eventually, when asked by the pastor if the girl agreed to get married, Thea said no. It turned out that the entire wedding was an action designed to draw attention to early marriage around the world. Human rights activists, who purposely arranged this provocation, timed the wedding to coincide with the International Day of the Girl Child, which will take place on October 11. They wanted to draw attention to the problem of pedophilia and early marriage in Eastern countries. Example, the League of Women unveiled a horrifying statistic, 3,000 early marriages take place each year, and that's just the official ones. Girls under 15 are abused. Young bride hunters target girls as young as 13 years old. The media call this custom, trafficking in girls, and urge everyone to pay attention to child marriages with this provocation. The blog of 12-year-old Thea became the most popular internet site in the history of Norway. The provocation was a success.